New York City getting nearly 10 inches of snow, but that was nothing because from Long Island, New York, up through Connecticut, straight into Boston and Worcester, all digging out tonight, nearly three feet of snow in some places. A firefighter helping to pull out that ambulance in New Bedford, Massachusetts, a patient inside. This man and his snowplow cutting the path through waist high snow there. And in Boston tonight, this nurse brought to work at Brigham and Women's Hospital by that police officer. Meteorologist Rob Marciano riding out the storm for us from Boston. Tonight, the blizzard of 2015 crushing the East Coast. Massachusetts pummeled with over 30 inches of snow. In Hudson, even too much for the plows to handle. This is a very significant storm, and in many parts of Massachusetts, I think you could call it, in fact, an historic event. The last 24 hours, a blowing, blinding mess. It's painful to be outside. The wind is blowing the snow sideways. Visibility at time dropping down to zero. The wind and snow not letting up even through the morning. You can't see anything this morning. This blizzard is dropping visibilities down to near zero at times, and it shows no signs of letting up. The Boston Fire Department digging out the stranded, even shuttling hospital workers, some doctors skiing to work. Tens of thousands without power across the region. In Connecticut, 30 plus inches of snow in spots, burying cars. In Rhode Island, winds toppling the massive wooden USS Providence. Overnight, travel banned in five states. Over two feet of snow in Suffolk County, Long Island. On the Long Island Expressway, an army of snowplows. The storm's eastward track saving New York City from the worst of it. And tonight, the travel ban is lifted on the roads and the subways. Tonight, the trains are slowly getting back up to speed after that unprecedented shutdown overnight. But tonight, many asking, was it all necessary? The mayor saying loud and clear, better be safe than sorry. Everyone chronicling the storm on social media. Over 32,000 images on Instagram tagged Blizzard of 2015. And in Boston, where are you, where are you headed? a surreal sight, a commuter braving the blizzard in just a suit. Hey, I'm from Buffalo. I'm used to this. Without the code, only in New England. Rob, I covered those storms in Boston for years as a reporter there, but this was huge and dangerous. What kind of cleanup are they facing tonight? I mean, it's going to take some time. Look at this, David. I mean, buried. And this is just one day. It was coming down so hard and so fast today. It was difficult for road crews to keep up. I suspect the main roads should be okay in a day or two. But Boston's an old city with a lot of tight streets like this one. So in some cases, you just have to dig it out by hand. This has lived up to its billing in New England as a storm of historic proportions. Two feet of snow. That's a record here. It is still coming down tonight, David. We can see it coming down right there, Rob. We know you haven't slept in hours, so we thank you.